Did you know that you can actually weld shapes together here inside CorelDRAW? Welding shapes together sort of morphs them into one new single shape. Now, this is not like grouping. We're going to be taking two or more objects and kind of welding them together. It's not like grouping. We talked about grouping earlier. What we're doing here is we're creating entirely new shapes based on some pre-existing objects, if that makes sense. So give this a try. Make sure you have some shapes on screen of course. The shapes that you have don't really matter. Whatever shapes you want to use is just fine. Select one and then hold down shift and grab the second guy. Head up to the arrange menu up at the top down to shaping and then over to weld. There you go. That's what I was talking about. This is our newly welded object. So in other words, again, they're not grouped together. They're actually joined together or welded together. Now, let me undo that. I'm going to do that for you one more time. So I'm just going to hit control Z on my keyboard here. And did you notice, by the way, that the resulting fill color that I got for my newly joined object was blue, right? Now, why was that? Well, check this out. I'm going to select my blue object first, then I'll hold down shift and I'll select my orange object, something like this, and then I'll head back to the arrange menu, back down to shaping, and then over to weld, and now my newly welded shape is filled with orange. What's up with that? Well, how it works is it takes the fill color off off of the last object that you selected. So I had selected my blue circle first and then I held down shift and clicked on the orange square, hence why the newly welded shape is now filled with orange, right? But you might want to keep that in mind, but normally I don't really really even concern myself with this. I usually go and change the fill color anyway, but something to keep in mind anyway. So you've got the idea of welding. What else can we do with it? Well, let's go and have some fun here. I'm just going to scroll down a little bit here inside my document. I've got a few more shapes kicking around here. I'm going to start off with just a simple rectangle. So go ahead and draw yourself out a rectangle there if you like. And here's what I'm going to do. I have them selected here. I'm going to copy them, control C, and I'll paste them, control V. And of course, my pasted copy is sitting right on top of the original, right? So what I'll do is I'll head up to the properties bar, the rotate property there. I'll type in 90 degrees, something like this. There we are. And then I'll select both shapes here and join them together. So arrange down to shaping and then over to weld, something like that. So kind of a a cross shape, I guess you could say. So anyway, there you go. Just a sort of another quick example here. How about a circle? Well, I could take my circle here, copy them and paste them. Then maybe I'll move a duplicate over, maybe something like that, right? And let's see here. I want to make sure that they're nice and lined up here. So I'll select them both here, something like this. And then let's see. I'll go arrange and then down to align and distribute. And I'll choose align centers horizontally. Line them all up there. And then arrange shaping weld there, something like that. Maybe I want to create some binoculars, you know, the, <laughs> the binocular effect there. Okay, I'm going to show you one more quick example. You can have so much fun with welding though. Here's what I have further down my document. Two simple objects and I want to use welding to try and create a 3D shape. And I'll show you how to create this 3D shape in the next movie. Change up.